check out this vintage Sears battery charger that I just scored from an antique mall in Whitefield, Maine. It even came with a galvanized steel carrying case. Which I'm pretty sure is not original, but still cool. Now I looked up the model number on this thing and the results I got says that this thing comes from the 60s. Didn't pinpoint a year, just says the 60s. Which is kind of the golden era of tools. Things were made well and things were made to last. Thing features six or 12 volt charging. Remember back in the 60s, some smaller vehicles did run on six volt systems. And it also has this cool amp meter on the front that shows you how many amps this thing is pulling while it's charging. And being from the 60s and just labeled Sears, this predates when everything that Sears produced was a Craftsman brand. Pretty cool. As you can see, it's in really good overall original shape with patina. The charging cables on here are original and there's no frays or breaks in the wires. The same cannot be said for the power cord. This is off of a different charger that I owned. I just cut the original wire right here, spliced it together, put some heat shrink on there, and now I have a good power plug. And of course it has the spot on the back where you could reel both the cables up and it's got two spots for nails so you can hang it on the wall. Which is pretty cool, but I'm gonna stick with the case. It's pretty cool to have a metal carrying case nowadays. But does it still work? Let's try it out. So I purposely trained the battery on the old tractor. Clutch in, nothing. Only showing 1.59 volts on the reader. Positive to positive, negative to negative. And made sure it's set to 12 volt. And plug her in. Looks like it's pulling just about three amps and slowly climbing up. So I'll check back in about 30 minutes and see what it looks like. All right, we're about a half an hour later and this thing's pulling almost four and a half amps. So we'll unplug the charger. And after 30 minutes, we're, we got 12.41 volts, baby. Let's see if it's enough to crank her over. Clutch in. Not yet. All right, I got it hooked back up. Looks like it's pulling about five amps now. We'll give it a solid hour and we'll check back and see what it looks like. All right, it's about one hour later and the charger's pulling just over three amps. And the multimeter says now we got about almost 13.6 volts. We'll throw the clutch on, see if she cranks. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. This old school charger from 60 years ago, still going strong, and I got it for 20 bucks. Thanks for watching.